Hi, this is Sahana. This is our ESP.NET Core MVC web application. In this application, we are using SQL Server as database, Entity Framework Core as ORM, that is Object Relational Mapper, and also we have implemented repository pattern. Here is the project structure. Even if you don't know what we have implemented in this application, you need not worry, I'll help you understand. If you want, you can refer to ASP.NET Core MVC playlist. You will find all the videos over there. Just a quick recap. Inside dependencies, you, are, you can find the folder by name packages. Here inside packages, you can find these two, Entity Framework Core.SQL Server and Microsoft Entity Framework Core.Tools. We have installed these two packages using Package Manager Control. Right now we have single table that is tutorials table. Here you can find the folder by name context. If you expand, you can find tutorial DB context. In most of the cases, you can find this file inside models folder. Just to make sure, just to prove the fact that we can keep it outside, I have created a separate folder and we have this file here. Choice is yours, you can have it anywhere. In this application, we are following code first approach. You can see that right now this application has single table that is tutorials table. I want to have one more table that is articles table. My requirement is here we have a drop down which lists all the available tutorials. When I click on any of the tutorials, let's say if I click on C sharp, it should list all the articles related to C sharp. We are going to start by adding new model article. The reason is in our application, first we are creating model, then with the help of Entity Framework Core, we are creating database table. Right click on the models folder, add class and name it as article. Click on add. Next step is to add the properties that will describe this model. Right now I have three properties, article ID, article title, and article content. Now I'll make these two fields mandatory by using data annotation. We are getting error. The reason is we have to import the namespace. We have to import system.componentmodel.data annotations. Next, we are going to set up relationship with tutorial table. In this case, tutorial ID is the foreign key and this property, we call this property as reference navigation property. This property holds reference to other related entity. In this case, tutorial model is the related entity. Same way, I have opened tutorial model. Now I'll set up relationship with article model. Here, this holds list of articles. At models level, our job is done. Our next step is to propagate these changes to database. Let's see how to do that. I have opened tutorial DB context file. Here I have defined DB set property for tutorials. Same way, I'm going to define one more property that will represent article model. I will save the database with initial data. Now we have to open package manager console. We should run the command add migration. Give some meaningful name. Hit enter. Build succeeded. Now we have to update database. To update database, we should run command update database. Database has been updated without any error. Our main reason to have this article table is to store all the articles so that when we click on tutorial, we can display all the articles that come under this tutorial. Let's see how to implement that functionality. Now I'll create one more interface by name iArticle repository. Right click, add, class, and name it as I article repository add. It's not class, it's interface. So I'll change this to interface. This interface will have these methods. As this is an interface, these methods will not have implementation here. We are going to create different class where we are going to implement these methods. Again, right click on the repository folder, add class, name it as article repository press control dot, choose implement interface. Work with article table, we need an instance of tutorial DB context. How to get the instance? To get the instance of tutorial DB context, we are going to make use of dependency injection. 
I will declare a private field which is of the type tutorial DB context. Then I will create a constructor. Shortcut is CTOR double tap. To this constructor, we are going to inject the dependency. That's all. We have injected the dependency. Now we can work with this instance. To get all the articles, we can simply return all the articles. If we want to return the articles by tutorial ID, same way, you can return the articles, but here we are filtering the articles by tutorial ID. Our article repository is ready. Next, we need controller and view, right? Let's work on that. Right click on the controllers folder, add controller, choose MVC controller empty and name it as article controller, add here we have index action method. I'll keep this index action method as it is. I will write one more action method, display articles. But I want to display articles by tutorial ID. I want to call the methods from article repository. Again, I'll go for dependency injection and get the instance of article repository. We are going to follow same steps. See, here we have injected the dependency. From this display articles action method, we are going to call the method get articles by tutorial id here we are passing id and it will return all the articles and we are going to return this from view our display articles action method is ready now it's time to create a view click on views folder add new folder this time we are going to name it as article we want to create a view by name display articles right click on article folder add click on view razor view empty click on add name it as display articles click on add from this line we know that our view is going to receive some data our first step is to specify model model name is article to keep the thing simple we're going to display data in the form of table here is the code can you guess why are we getting error? The reason is, if you look at this action method, we are returning, our return type is of the type i enumerable article. But here, here the model type that we have declared is just model. To fix this error, we should make it will be of the type i enumerable. Our next step is to call this view. If you have watched previous video, you may know that we have implemented this dynamic navigation menu using view component. We have that view component inside views, shared, components folder. Inside components folder, we have tutorial menu folder. Here we have default.cshtml. Here we have a code that displays dynamic navigation menu as a drop down. We want to display articles for each tutorial, right? So here we are going to specify controller and action methods. I'll specify the controller using ASP controller. Controller name is article. Now we can specify action method name. Action method is display articles. We should pass one more thing that is tutorial ID. We make use of ASP root ID and we have to specify the value. Now let's test our application. Okay, this is our application. We have tutorials here. I'll click on one of the list. See, we are getting error. Uh, do you know why are we getting this error? The reason is, here we are requesting dependency injection container to give the instance of I article repository. But dependency injection container don't know which, in, which instance to give. Fix that, we should go to program.cs file. If you look at this statement, uh, here we have registered iTutorial repository service. Whenever we request the service iTutorial repository, we get the instance of tutorial repository. The same way we should register iArticle repository service with dependency injection container. So whenever we inject the dependency, we get the instance of article repository. Let's save and test our changes now. Fine, let's test it again. I'll click on tutorials. ASP.NET Core, 
nice reason why we are not able to display any data because we don't have data related to ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. We have data related to C Sharp. Let's test that. I'll click on C Sharp. See, here we have C Sharp related data. If I click on JavaScript, we don't have any data. Thus, we have implemented new functionality in our application. We have followed too many steps. Things may be a bit confusing for you. If you want to go through the code, you can download the source code from my GitHub repo. You will get the link in the description. You can go through the code. If you get any error, you can comment me. I'll help you to fix that error. I hope the things are clear. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.